Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel here on YouTube about beer and home brewing. I went through my kegerator today and in the bottom I found an old beer mail. This has been sitting for quite a while, so the label is quite destroyed. It's the werewolf blood beer and I uh, don't know, actually we can see the name of the brewer here and it's hard to read the words now but i have my stuff sorted so i did find the recipe so we're gonna try this beer and we're gonna go through the recipe this is an alt beer an alt beer is a uh, it's a German ale. It has the same like history like the like the Kölsch. It came from Köln and it's more now associated with Düsseldorf, if, if I'm correct. I need to go to Düsseldorf and I need to go fast. I went to Köln this summer or Cologne as uh, most you guys know it. And uh, yeah, for this Kölsch beer trip. I did a video on that. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on that. I have some Kölsch sent in, which you're gonna try in another video. But if you haven't watched my trip to uh, Cologne, where I try a lot of Kölsch and we talk about Kölsch in the video, I will put a card up and a link down below to that video. If you're new to this channel, as I said, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. On my channel you can expect beer reviews like this one on gear reviews, I do brewing videos, event videos, DIY videos and uh, yeah, experimental brewing. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell so you don't miss anything and of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up, it really helps out. I don't even know if I have the name here of the the brewer. I think, I think the brewer is called Nils Wallin. Let's pretend I actually know that. So Nils, sorry for the long wait. We're gonna try it today. It comes in a transparent bottle, but I have been storing it dark and cold. You can see through it that it's bottle fermented or maybe it's just dropped out. Maybe we should talk a about more about the alt beer style as well, but uh, First, let's get this one into a glass. So guys, I have my opener here. It's, I love this opener. Yes, I know I'm childish and I really don't know how to use it. This is my butterfly knife style opener. You have linked down in the description for it as the most of the stuff I use including the ticker glass and it's a long list but if you really need something go check it out if you see something in my brewing videos that you would like to check out I do have the most of it listed down there so if it's in the list it's approved by the doctor so the alt beer is German ale so is the Kölsch but the alt beer is more to me at least it's more like an English Ale is more malty, and the Kölsch is more like a lager. So maybe we shouldn't go so much further into it. Let's get this one open. Okay, so it's not a gusher, but it's carbonated and didn't kick up the yeast. So looking good. And this could be very clear. I think it's quite well carved so no it looks good okay so I'm gonna leave it there okay it uh, maybe we should turn this on slight hazy but good looking beer maybe I did pour some of the drags in it Have one finger head it's an amber colored beer I think it's called when he entered this into Brewer's Friend, I think it's actually called an American Amber Ale, but the bottle said Alt Beer. So I'm going with the label on it. 
let's try it first and then we can run through the recipe but we do have a light amber colored beer i think you have the color there quite good have a half finger off white head now this has been sitting for a while and do get some like fruity esters it's not very hoppy but it has been sitting for quite a while so sorry about that kind of forgot about it saw it today and uh, yeah I'm so glad that I actually found the recipe you can say now it's called the werewolf and it's probably because he just used Styrian Wolf for hops. Never brewed with Styrian Wolf myself. Anyone else brewed with Styrian Wolf? Comment down below. And guys, as I said, please give this video a thumbs up. So, it ain't very pungent on the nose. Have some esters there, some bready, biscuity notes. Okay, let's dive in. Cheers, guys. If anyone else wants to send me beer mail, I promise I will try not to forget it in the teaser. You'll find my contact information down below in the description box. So, let's dive in. It's a sweetness, breadiness, even some butter cookies. Some of these like English esters, not very hoppy, but it has been sitting for a while. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that it has been sitting dark for all the time, dark and cold. So you do get like some English esters, like you can get some time from SO4 yeast. I haven't looked what yeast he used yet. It has like that of English estery tones to it, at least. And uh, I know I said buttery. Mm, maybe just a hint of it. And Refreshing, easy drinking, good looking beer. Okay guys, let's go through the recipe for this one. And this recipe also goes up on my Patreon page in the Dr. Hans recipe book. This goes up in the beer mail section. I have well over 100 recipes, there's now mostly my own and I update them all the time. So do check out the Patreon page if you're interested in even more content than here on the channel. So uh, we have, and I have this in kilos and grams. So I'm gonna go through them in kilos and grams, but also gonna give you like percentage, because percentage is really the best way to share a recipe. So we have 3.25 kilos of pale ale malt. That's about 82%. 200 grams of German Cara Aroma. That's about 5%. 250 grams of German Cara Red. That's 6.3%. It's a, quite a lot of crystal malts in this, okay? And we have 250 grams of Canadian Honey Malt. That's 6.3% as well. For hops, he used 10 grams at 30 minutes. Then he did a steep, 45 grams of steering wolf at 75C for 30 minutes. And this was also dry hop for five days with 45 grams of steering wolf. I said it has been sitting for a while, so uh, mostly hop aroma is gone by now. Wait, sir. Nice alt beer. It's light and refreshing with some English like tones to it, I think. He used for yeast dry English ale yeast, 
WPO07. And what can we say more about the recipe? The OJ was 1056 and the FG was 1010. So this has an ABV of 6%. It doesn't taste like a 6% beer at all. Like I said, really light and refreshing with some English esters. And uh, yeah, I really think that this beer was better younger. It's a good beer, but it's my fault. I waited too long, sorry about that. But it's still a nice beer, but I don't think I'm showing the best side of this beer. But you said it's a well-brewed beer, it's bottle condition, wasn't a gusher, good level of carbonation and uh, no like skunkiness even have been in the transparent bottle. So Nils, thank you so very much for the beer. Sorry for the wait, but uh, yeah. That was the werewolf. So I think it's a sound recipe, so you guys could try it out and tweak it however you want. Um, it's not overly sweet. It did have quite a well of the, uh, the crystal malts. Of course, it did ferment out to 1010, so it shouldn't be like sweet. But yeah, it's a good beer, guys. So if anyone else wants to send me beer mail, you will find my contact information down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you didn't like it. And of course, no one likes me uh, forgetting about my beer mail. Sorry about that. But if you didn't like it, give it a double thumbs down. And uh, if you're new to the channel, consider becoming a subscriber. And do hit that little bell. So, cheers guys and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.